So yeah, as I was saying, um, you know, as cars get faster charging and longer ranges, people are going to see that, hey, I can get somewhere faster in an electric vehicle than I can in a gas powered vehicle. And that's when the mass, you know, the masses are really going to switch over. You know, when you have a car that has a 500 mile range and can charge in like five, 10 minutes, up to 80% or whatever, then you're, then you're talking about a game changer. You're talking about, wait a minute, I can go longer, I can go further range, and it only takes me 10 minutes to charge it after 500 miles. Well, I'm, you know, I want to take a break after driving four or 500 miles anyway. So, and if you're old like me, you want to take a break after driving 100 miles. I mean, let's be honest here, you know, people in your 40s. But yeah, I think, you know, these electric vehicles are definitely the future. And that's why I bought into it because I plan on having my car for a while. And it's going to be hard because, you know, the new Polestar that just came out has like, you know, uh, the 2024 and then you know the 2025 they're gonna have better range faster charging the new the new pulsar that just came out has a has a 250 kilowatt ability as opposed to my car's 150 kilowatt ability so it's going to be you know zero to 80 percent in 18 minutes versus zero to 80 percent in 30 minutes so almost twice as fast so uh you know with electric vehicles the technology is just going to change so quickly more than ICE vehicles. And you're gonna, you know, from one year to the next, there's gonna be a better vehicle with further range and faster charging and better technology. And I think Tesla's done a really good job at updating their cars. Polestar's been doing an okay job. They, they, they have pushed some updates that have increased range and increased the, the functions of cars. So I think it's good. I think it's a good thing. You know, it's, it's, we're moving in the right direction to be more green for earth. And I understand the critics out there, you know, well, where does the energy come from and stuff like that. And more people will go solar, geothermal, things of that nature. So it's just a matter of adapting to, to not just trends, but just a new way of life and, and into a new chapter of how humanity is going to live on this planet because if we continue doing what we're doing with this mass consumption and pollution and everything else you know our planet's going to really suck for the future generations you know so anyways i think that's about all i have right now for electric vehicle i just wanted to have a fireside chat with everybody and uh, ramble on and let you listen to me rambling on no, but uh, I really do think that uh, this is a good thing and it's a positive change. And as prices of electric vehicles come down, there are cars out there like the Chevy Bolt that is reasonably priced. Yeah, it, uh, I think the Chevy Bolt has a 250 some mile range. So I think it's like 259, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really know, you know, their pricing and how it works if there's different levels of a Bolt or you know, their, their model lineup or anything like that. But I was talking with a friend today and she was like, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about getting the bolt and it's got like a 259 mile range or something. So I don't know if she, um, has looked at other models and, and has seen different ranges or whatever, but you know, uh, it, it's max charging is only 50 kilowatts. So it's kind of like, you're not going to take a long road trip in that car. You know, you're not going to sit, sit there and charge it only 50 kilowatts and sit there for an hour or two waiting for your car to recharge up to 80 percent so but there's there's a few different cars out there for commuters that are really cheap there was a, one that i saw that was like i think it was like fifteen thousand dollars it was a one-seater you know <laughs> you can't you can't take anybody with you but it's there for fifteen thousand and you can you can drive around on electricity you know, it's pretty awesome. These are great times that we live in and I'm very excited for the future. So, well, thanks for spending your time with me and thanks for listening. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and I'll try and answer every one of them. So take care and stay safe out there. All right. Oops. Sorry for the shaky shake. All right. Goodbye.